Hello there and welcome to the new data studio tutorial and in this Google data studio tutorial I will going to show you how you can create a bullet chart like this. So bullet chart is a very useful chart whenever you need to do some sort of a comparison like for example sales against the target or the actual expense against the budget and you would really like to see whether the value over here has has moved past the target or running behind the target and these gray areas if you can see the dark gray is basically the first target this is basically the second target the medium dark gray and the very light light uh, gray is basically your third target so all of these settings you need to do uh, to create the bullet chart so let's see how very quickly how we can do that so i'll come outside of the edit mode so first of all i'll just select and delete this chart and uh, so that we can create it from the scratch now if I select the bullet chart from here it will create the default bullet chart for me so this default bullet chart is basically based on the sales as you can see the metric however you can have the optional bullet metric let's say uh, when you want to give the power to the user that not only sales the user should be able to select other metric for example profit they will be able to select it but the only difference is problem is that that these range limits is something you specify manually so need to be careful when you are specifying optional metric because they should be in relation to these optional uh, these range limits all right so let's move ahead and uh, first of all we have a metric of sales where the actual value if you see in the view mode you have 14.8 million or close to 15 million but if you see the target or the range limits over here range 1 range 2 and range 3 is very less so what we can do is maybe first range we have to specify is 500,000 the second range is uh, let's say what we have is 1 million so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and uh, next is basically your 20 million so i will just press 2 and one more zero so this way now you can see it is going up till 20 million and that's why the bar has moved close to the 14 million over here now we need to show the target target is nothing but this line so what should be our target let's say our target is 17 million so i will press 17 1 2 3 4 5 6 so now if this is what our target is then we can clearly see that there is a gap of around 2 million uh, from the target to the actual value and this is something which uh, then filterable by based on what filters you have chosen so that's the basic setting what you need to do to uh, create a bullet chart like this which i suggest you further shrink it like this and it's a personal choice whether you want these values or not generally it doesn't make a lot of sense because uh, if you go in a view mode it clearly shows us the actual value over here and uh, which indicates that where we are standing it right now so that's the basic setting you need to do to create the bullet chart for the purpose of creating the KPI and uh, you can create based on whatever KPI you want to create you have in mind or you have it from the requirement perspective which gives you the indication how they are performing against the target apart from this like in the other videos which I have shown you you can also do the comparison so the comparison will be shown on this chart where you will have another chart so for example if i just quickly show you over here so what i have selected is from 1st jan 2011 to 31st december 2011 and i want to see it for the last year so for comparison period i will choose either the previous year or my recommendation is previous period so that whatever period you will choose it will be shown accordingly so the comp the comparison period is the previous period over here so in custom i just need to apply click on apply and now if you see the chart has been reduced to that period which is 2011 and the bigger bar which you are seeing is basically the previous period chart so it's up to us what period we want uh, to show it over here 
with the help of the comparison we can see it so i'll go back to the default properties down there you have the option where you want to customize this filter with the particular predefined filter for example only for the technology product or for the furniture or things like those now um, in style you don't have much but uh, couple of styles like what should be your bar color what should be your range color range is nothing but in the gray then what should be your axis whether you want to show it or not like i suggested personally i don't want because uh, i can clearly hover my mouse over to this bar and it can show me but it's up to you according to your company standards down there you have option of background and border and chart header which uh, gets indicated as you would like so in this case if i'm saying always then it is always shown over here so that's about how quickly uh, very quickly you can create the bullet chart within the google data studio but uh, like you have seen it has some shortcomings for example you have to manually specify the range you have to manually specify the target which does not change when you specify the optional metric over here so for example if i say profit you know we can see the profit in the front end when i go into the view mode i can see the profit but it will be relevant to whatever target we had so for example the 70 million over here which probably something will be fixed in the coming version so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video